Hello, cats and kittens, felines and fellow day, humans and variant humans, and every race class and subclass. Welcome to another installment of Brenny the RPG Cat. Tonight, we are going to be providing a slightly more classic Christmas. Call it the Ghost of Christmas Past, something along those lines. But we are bringing back a feature that I used to regularly do when I used to be a retro VTuber. And we are going to play all of the Lemmings freeware. Hello, hello, happy Lemmings miss. Yes, and happy Lemmings miss to you too, Devin. So, tis the night before, the night before Christmas. Well, actually, maybe that's the night before, the night before, the night before Christmas. Okay, that takes us past Christmas Eve. And uh, we are just looking for something that just festive in order for me to do before we uh, head on to uh, show the Christmas special and then take two days off for the rest of the holiday Maybe only stream three days a week and skip the weekend next week. I don't know. I haven't decided all of that stuff yet. But first things first, you know. Let's spend this jolly time together. And so here we are at my copy of DOS Box. Is that um, I, in every single one of these streams, I always wanted to put emphasis on the fact that this was the length that... Your dad and your granddad had to do uh, in order to bring up a video game on their computer. So we're going to have a little bit of DOS nostalgia in addition to the gaming nostalgia. First things first, though. We're partnered with Great Media Games to bring you inexpensive TCG single cards. Visit greatmedia.games and use the code TENFINITY at checkout for 10% off your online purchase. Yay! Command line interference. Precisely, Devin. We're going to have some pulse-pounding key typing. Yeah, don't forget to set up your new Sound Blaster sound card. Plug and play just doesn't exist yet. Precisely. Um, I'm going to try to run for the first time on advanced settings. I don't know if I can do that. We might be stuck with uh, Windows 3.1, but we'll figure that out in a moment. Uh, the stream is also brought to you by our donation campaign. I'm teamed up with other members of Extra Life to run a campaign supporting Children's Hospital Colorado through Extra Life. Uh, please follow the link below. Give what your finances will allow. We're going to keep these links open between now and December 31st. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get to start. Uh, let's get started with our playthrough of Lemmings. First thing that we've got to do is mount the C drive. Um, well, first thing I should actually highlight the window and then we can mount the C drive. Let me see. I'm going to have to scrunch down a bit here. Mount C, C, colon, backslash. Lemmings. Okay, and so we're using this as a substitute C drive. Um, mount. I, I spelled mount wrong. That's what happened there. Okay, once again. Mount C, C colon, backslash lemmings. Alright, and so then go to the C drive. And then we are going to type CD1992. Now the first Lemmings was actually uh, the first Christmas Lemmings freeware was actually in 1991, but we're going to play 1992 first because there are some easier puzzles in that, and I'll be able to get further in that than if we started with uh, Lemmings 1991. So, and then type Lemmings. Oops, I typed Lemmings, Lemmings. I got the M's and the N's mixed up. That's comedy. All right. So here we are. First, choosing video mode. Well, we're going to have to choose VGA. Um, high performance PC. 
um, and then go ahead and starting with the title screen for this. Here's another special holiday surprise from Psygnosis to give you a taste of the award-winning Oh No, More Lemmings! And Lemmings, the game voted Best Arcade and Best Home Entertainment by the SPA. You'll be playing a specially designed 1992 holiday edition of Lemmings Adventures featuring four all-new holiday season adventures. This mini-game is only a sample of the unique gameplay in Lemmings and in Oh No, More Lemmings. You'll laugh your way through 120 levels of misguided rodent mayhem in Lemmings and come back for more in Oh No, More Lemmings featuring 100 additional challenging Lemmings levels featuring the hapless green-haired crew and a host of new perils. Save the lemmings and have a cool yule. Cool yule is in quotations. Lemmings and no more lemmings are available for major software retailers, or you can order by calling 1-800-GET-SIG. Um, I'm not entirely sure if that number is still up, so don't dial that on my behalf. This comes from the Brainy the RPG Cat uh, legal team, which only consists of me. Lemmings, copyright 1992, Psygnosis, and then press any key to continue. All right. Loading us some PC Lemmings. All right. See, once again, I'm not entirely sure that uh, Sound Blaster is going to come. I think we're stuck with... Uh... I think, yeah, we, we might just be stuck with uh, the, the uh, PC speaker audio, but... I called and some woman asked if I was looking for a good time. I told her, yes, I would like to buy lemmings. Devin. Devin. You're going to put your favorite VTuber in jail one of these days. So this is a bit garbled, but I know that the game is still in perfect working order besides that. Level 1, Jingle Lemmings, got to say, uh, there's 50%. Lemmings in level, 50% need to be saved, 50 need to be released, uh, well, I mean, um, 50 are going to be released, uh, time is 5 minutes, and the rating is Christmas. Press the mouse button to continue. Alright. Let's go. Well, this is vaguely MIDI, so it's not entirely uh, Sound Blaster, but... Oh, you know what? Um, now it occurs to me that I probably should lower that volume a little bit. I wanted you to hear the opening song, but now uh, that is slightly less relevant. Alright, so I'm going to need something to get them down into their little fruitcake house. So all I have is bashers. So, on Bashers, saw a little hole into the floor right there. Hopefully, they'll all be facing right when they fall down. Ho, 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 God, my ears. Is the sound better now, Devin? Please let me know. Yeah, it's much better. All right. Okay. We have almost escaped all the lemmings. Let's uh, speed up the lemming output a little bit. That may help us finish this level quicker. So, yippee! We rescued 100%, we needed 50. You saved every lemming! That's totally excellent! And then your access code for level 2 is IJJDLDLCCL. If I needed the passwords, I could probably just look them up. Level 2, happy holidays, Mr. Lemming. Number of lemmings are is 80. 87% need to be saved. So we need to save a lot more lemmings in this stage than we did in the previous one. Okay, so we have quite a few additional tools this time. We have some crawlers. We have some ground diggers. 
So let's see. How do we want to proceed with this? So, um, we're going to want them to fall, but we're going to want them to fall from a place where, you know, they're not going to get squished, so. I think we don't have any bashers this level either, so, um, probably the first thing that we need to do is we need to, uh, um, we need to create some, well, maybe not even that. Let's try to do this as easy as we possibly can. Let's just dig a hole on this side of the field and see if that gets us anywhere. I hope you're having a lovely evening, by the way. Oh yeah, I've had a nice evening. So, I don't know if you heard, but there is an enormous deep freeze going on right now. Okay, I think this is already becoming too far for the lemmings to fall. Well, at least not the first few lemmings. Okay, and then everybody else I think is gonna be okay. Nope, nope. They're all dying. A handful of them were saved. I don't understand what softened their blow. Maybe the fact that they fell from the inside of the tunnel. But yeah, this is not going to do. So yeah, we've been having a major deep freeze in the uh, western part of the uh, of the country right now. And. Uh, well, you know, regrettably, I'm in the middle of it. Um, the sun was out all day today, but there was more than three inches of snow on the floor, and it was probably like uh, 10 degrees. So I just didn't even bother going out. I just stayed in all day. It's a good thing that I'm also on winter break. All right. Retrying this stage. Okay. Clearly, we have to be a little bit more judicious about what we should be doing. So, I am going to send a scouting lemming ahead, and he's going to be able to climb this hill. Alright, and then I am going to need, well, I'm probably not going to need a blocker, because the blockers aren't really going to do anything. Can he safely touch that fireplace? Yes, he can. Alright. Oh, I think he's climbing over the whole level now. So, if I take this lemming and I start to get him to dig from here, will he fall a shorter distance and will everyone be saved? That's the question. Yeah, ice cold. Yeah, I'm probably going to stay that way for maybe about two or three days, but I'm pretty sure it'll warm up in time for Christmas. Alright. Well... Now I've got this lemming on the bottom half of the screen. I'm not entirely sure how useful that's going to be. I only have five parachuters too. So, just out of curiosity, if I were to make another lemming into a climber, and they were to fall down that chasm, would they be able to be saved? Just doing a little bit of lemming experimentation here. Nope, he gets crushed. So that's a shame. Um, if I take this lemming, and yeah, quickly before he gets into the fruitcake, if I am able to give him climbing and then allow him to build a staircase up to the hole, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So maybe that will soften the blow for everyone else. The other question thing I need to figure out is how am I going to get um, lemmings past the icicle? And so. I don't have any diggers, but I do have exploders, so... Oh. Maybe if I want to explode them, if they would be so kind as to face the right direction. Okay, well... Well, this is certainly burrowing, but probably not in a way that's going to be helpful. Alright. 
Yeah, this is way too random. That can't be the solution to the puzzle. All right. That good old DOS era slowdown that you experience, that you can only experience when you make a whole family of lemmings spontaneously combust. All right. So I think I've got an idea about what I'm supposed to be doing here. Okay, so let's get two climbers. come across here. Those poor critters. All right. Well, let's see, how many ground diggers do I have? I only have one ground digger. So yeah, maybe it's a mistake to even try to get them across. Um, let's go ahead, let's try this anyway. So I know that the one that digs their way down there, they're going to survive. So regrettably, yeah, that's the only digger that I have. So I don't know how I'd be able to get other people across. Um, I also have parachuters, I have exploders, and I have blockers, and I have stair, uh, stair builders. I wonder what the solution could be. Well, we're just going to try different things until we find it. Okay, I think I've got it, but I'm going to restart from here. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to need this time, I'm going to need a blocker. Hopefully this one is going to send all the lemmings left, which I already didn't do right. Oh, did I say I was only going to need to restart once? Silly me. Okay, we're going to need to put a blocker here, and then we need to get somebody to start digging the hole. And then as soon as this handful of lemmings uh, lands, then I have to make one of them the stair builder. And so they're the ones who are going to build a stair that's going to break all the other lemmings fall. So that sounds like a plan. All right. Oops. Well, in the meantime, I'm losing an awful lot of lemmings to just free-falling. Okay, well, I think I have the right idea, but I think I'm doing things a little bit too hastily. So for the amount that I rescued, that was already 37% of the whole level. I mean, what I probably need to do is I need to keep the lemmings from going into the hole. So let's take this lemming. And he's going to guard the ones on the left. And then I'm going to take the ground digger. I'm just going to start digging the hole right next to him. 
And so now I have three Lemmys at my disposal in order to build a bridge. Somebody about here to start becoming the stair builder. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, they always have twelve uh, builders in their backpack. I mean, so another issue that I'm having is that as soon as this guy is done, then he's going to start heading right too. So maybe I'm going to need a second blocker. But before I consider that, the first thing I should do, try to see if this is a, a safe fall for the lemmings that are already coming out of the package. Okay, yeah, actually this is a safe fall. This is going to work. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's uh, multiply the number. Alright. Yes, we have saved the lemmings in level 2. So here comes a great big army of them. We rescued 98% out of 87. More than enough. You have the makings of a master Lemmings player. Thank you very much, video game from 1991. Your praise has not gone unnoted. Level 3, a Lemming holiday. 80 Lemmings, 100% need to be saved. So I can't lose a single Lemming in this stage. Let's see how this goes. So for starters, do they just fall to their deaths from here? Yeah, that's something that usually happens in the uh, earlier levels. Wait, how many lemmings are in here? 80 lemmings, they say. Um, so probably the first thing I need to do is I need to put the two blockers. And that's probably going to spare every lemming that comes out of the package. But then I still need somebody to go ahead um, to uh, forward so that they can take care of the majority of the uh, area up ahead. This is a heck of an area right here. Let's just go, let's go over this to preview it. Okay, more than likely going to have to bash across the hill. We're going to have to um, send some parachutes down. Uh, turn them around and then build a bridge up to this section right here and uh, Then from there they can probably fall from this height, but um, Then we would take them from there to bash the snowman again And then we would probably have to build another stair from here to the fruitcake All right Well I think we have a plan, so let's go ahead and start to level over. I could hit the escape button, but what's the fun in that? Alright. Well, if I give them a parachute, will they survive this fall? No, they won't. Okay. I think I still have to save 100% of them. Okay, this time I did press the express button. At two. Uh, I think that's an indication of how cold it currently is. I love the wiggly little lemming scarecrow. 
Okay, so. How are we going to make get them to survive this fall? Um, I have a pickaxe guy. Well, probably be better if they I pickaxe in the correct dir uh, direction. No, did he turn around? He turned around, the sneaky little bastard. I did not expect that. You saw what I was trying to do, and then you said, No, no, please don't kill me. Alright. Ah, uh, dang. A hundred percent, a hundred percent of lemmings. Well, that means, you know, even if I use blockers, it means that I can't blow out the blockers afterwards. So, I don't know. What are you gonna do? Nothing is getting them over the cliff. Um, bless you. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to try to just to do this the standard way and then... Okay, why did I build a builder? Well, I mean, the builder is enough to get some of the lemmings across. Hopefully good enough for, for all of them. So I kind of stumbled onto the answer to this question. First thing, put the blocker here. So we've got our lemming landing party now. And so probably what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm just gonna wanna pick out three or four lemmings in order to go across. And so, um, just take a handful of lemmings and then separate them using a second blocker and then Bash this wall. Okay, and so I got like five or some lemmings here. So start handing out umbrellas. Uh-oh. Yeah, even if I give them umbrellas, they're not going to have a place to land. This is a problem. Something made them turn around, too. I didn't see that. Oh, there is an icicle here. I have to bash across that. Okay. So I'm probably going to need a second blocker. Blocking one and then just letting two go across. And then one of them is going to bash. And then I believe all of these guys actually have uh, parachutes, so... At least they got that going for them. Although now I'm starting to think that parachutes aren't a solution. Probably the next thing that I need to do is I need to uh, uh, get them to bash across to this uh, this section right here. Oops. Why'd you quit? I don't understand why you quit. Let's see if the other guy builds better ladders. All right. And there goes that one. He's still falling to his doom. Uh, 
Um, he still didn't build us tall enough. He would still fall if he, uh, if if he if I uh, had him dig through that uh, icicle. to start this somewhere closer to this section. Okay. We had this going from Mia to Mia. Okay, now we're going to need him to get to the top of the stairs and start bashing. All right. Oops. Still fell through the icicle. Use lemming instant transmission. All right, well, I think this one's a botch. I'm gonna start over again. I started this by doing the builder, but then somebody has to be the blocker. Oh, no, I turned the builder into the blocker. Ah, oh, gee whiz. This is already gone, so hilariously wrong. After a few more attempts at this, I'm going to be a lot more interested in playing Lemmings 1991. Sometimes you need some lightning fast uh, mouse movements in order to play this game. Alright. Oh, I probably should have doubled that. Well, okay, maybe this gives me a different idea though. I'm going to keep building to the hill and then I am going to use this lemming in order to pickaxe down the hill. Okay, come on, touch the hill already. There we are. Oh, drat. Well, I took too long. Okay, try this again. You know they especially design that hill over there to look exactly like a Roman candle when it goes off. They know that your player is going to be here for a while. All right. So let's try to get this one right this time.
Maybe I can still get 100% if I leave Lemmy's alive without using the exploders, but I w still I really wouldn't know what to do with this section over here. Maybe I have to do both. Maybe I have to pickaxe down the hill and also pickaxe uh, across the steps as well. I have to pickaxe in two directions. This is a two pickaxe thing. All right. I have lots of pickaxers too. All right. Let's get you up on the hill and let's get you digging down. What about the blockers though? Don't you need 100%? That's what I was just saying. I don't know how to what to do about the blockers. Well, maybe I can just leave the blockers at the entrance and then I can get a lemming to pickaxe across this section. That is what I am currently up that's a, what I'm currently operating under. Okay, is he going to live? No, he's not going to live. Darn it. Okay, yeah. So this this has all been a comedy of errors. This is why they were allowed to call these things full games because, you know, they, they probably only have maybe about five levels apiece out of the 80 to 100 levels that were in every average game of Lemmings. Okay, well, let's try this in a slightly different order. All right. They're being blocked. They are... Uh... So now I need a pickaxer. Hopefully one that's going in the right direction. Okay. Oh. Nope. Somehow he ended up taking out the other blocker. So that wasn't quite the solution to this. See, because all of these lemmings, uh, you know, these were floppy disk games, but they had like 70 to 100 levels on them. Because of how simplistic the graphics are. Um, let's see. Uh, but, you know, they build these freeware games as being full games. But they're really only full games because they put some of the most challenging puzzles... Um, they may, they take the most challenging puzzle and they turn it into level three. So we'll see how well we get when it comes to the majority of this. Okay. Uh, well, I don't think there's a way to pickaxe through the ground on this section without uh, dropping off the lemmings. So I can't do it that way. I got a little bit further when I started by building the bridge. So I'm not going to create a whole landing party this time. I'm going to see how far I can get with just this one lemming. Alright. Look at this little intrepid adventurer here. to bash this and what can I do with him here I 
I need to get them way up to the top of the icicle because if there's even one pixel that I could potentially fall from, he's going to fall from it. So that's the thing, I'm, I'm probably even going to need to redo the bridge that I just made. You know what would be helpful is if I had the ability to turn them around. That would be helpful. We're going to waste, yeah, a lot of time while he is coming over. Oh, you know what? He's not going to He's not gonna come all the way around because I left the cliff there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, the humanity. I think I need to put a blocker on, on, on the cliff as well, so that, that that's uh, probably the best way to do this. All right. Oh, I already did it wrong. I needed to let two lemmings escape. That's even harder to do. All right, you can do it. Ah, uh, no, I can't, but thanks for believing in me anyway. All right. So let's see. Okay, so yeah, two or three of them are just automatically gonna be saved. So take advantage of that. And then let's put the blockers up for the rest of them. Put a blocker down here. And then to the left too. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, we got all that. So now we have a landing party of about five lemmings. So let's get somebody to bash across. I mean, one way I can stop a lemming from uh, blocking is that I can just do that pickaxe trick again. It's kind of fudging the game, but what are you gonna do? Okay. So I need to get somebody to bash this and then almost immediately send somebody to the top of the icicles. Okay, let's start you building right here. All right. Ah, uh, drat. Well, this isn't very useful. <laughs> okay, what I should have done there is I should have made a blocker for the other five lemmings. Sheesh. Oops, I keep putting out builders. I should be putting blockers. Okay, there we are. Drat. Now I can't get the one here. Whoa. Whoa, uh -oh, indeed. Slightly glossing over the fact that nearly all of them just died from falling off the cliff this time. So this very first one that turns around is, is the one I need to turn into the blocker on this corner. Okay, there we are. Ooh, I only have one again. Well, that was a little too efficient.
I mean, at least if I parade only one out, then I don't have to worry about uh, having to block other lemmings. I don't know, it still might be that it's necessary to have more than one to go across here. Alright, so... so he just built two stairs and then he walked away. So I think he's gonna need to bash a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Get him off of the cliff corner. Oh gee, oh gee, oh gee, oh gee, oh gee. Oh, 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 wasn't fast enough, wasn't fast enough. He's going to walk all the way back over there again. And I would have this solved except for the fact that there is a time limit here. Time limit is ticking away. Well, something I can do in order to speed this up a little bit. Let's just start making him go uphill. Get him right about here. Okay, so now you should be able to bash this icicle with impunity. Up. Well, so much for impunity. This time he all he just completely and totally bypassed the ladder. If I recall, uh, DOSBox does have the ability to increase CPO cycle speed. Well, hey, what's the fun in that? You get to enjoy this at the speed that I did when I played it in 1992. Anyways, is I'm not going to fail because of uh, the the current speed that the game is going. I'm going to fail because I'm going to uh, I'm going to um, overreach the time limit. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Ouch! There was still a gap in that. Okay. Well. 
I think I have the right idea going, but I think I'm still pretty significantly physically beaten. So, after do after this being the first level of uh, Christmas Lemmy's 1991 has got to be easier. So, let's escape. Can't get enough of those Yule bedecked green haired numbskulls. All of a sudden, you have an inconsistent compulsive need to save those bouncing little rodents. Oh no, more lemmings and lemmings with 220 combined challenging play levels featuring hordes of roaming rodents is available at your local computer software retailers. Or you can order it online by calling. Eh, we're not going to do that again. All right. So. I forget how to go backwards in a directory using DOS. Ah, well. So, once again, mount cd, c colon black slash lemmings. Oh, c, mount c, c colon backslash lemmings. All right, then c, and then c colon c d 1991. 1991 lemmings. All right. Yeah, same thing. VGA high performance PC. Happy holidays from Lemmingland. Here's a special Christmas surprise from Psygnosis to give you a taste of the award winning Oh No More Lemmings and Lemmings, the Game Omni magazine said the original, most original entertainment concept of 1991. They're using a different qu quote this time. You'll be playing a specially designed 1991 Christmas edition of Selected Lemmings Adventures consisting of two unique holiday season adventures and two levels from our latest addition to the Lemmings line, Oh No More Lemmings. A further collection of 100 new challenging Lemmings levels featuring the hapless green-haired crew and a host of new perils. Save the Lemmings and have a cool Yule. All right. So let's see here. Level 1, Merry Christmas, Mr. Lemming. They're reusing the titles from the other game. 50 Lemmings, 50% need to be saved. Release rate is 40. And time is 5 minutes. Okay. Alright. This time the menu screen is uh, bright blue and it's a little bit harder to see. So forgive me if I just start fudging this because I can't see anything. Alright. Yep. That was the wrong thing to do. Maybe I can still turn him into a basher. Nope. Yes, you're right. Okay, already taking it again. The blue man group puked all over the UI. Should I get the basher again? Okay, you bust that snowman. Okay, you hold the fort. Okay, you two get parachutes. Okay, 
So they're going to turn around and then we can start building a ladder up this way. That's not the hard part. The hard part is this cliff over here. Ooh, I've got them going in two different directions. This is not good. Okay, so... Okay, where'd the other guy go? This is nuts! See if the other guy has just fallen to his doom yet. No, not just yet. Say, so keep looking at the other dude. Oh, darn it. Well, just stop short of doing this, right? Perhaps his sacrifice was not in vain. Let's try to send them through anyway. Oh, you know what? I got another one, actually. So, two minutes left in the round, I have saved exactly one lemming. Let's blow you. Hopefully he doesn't take out the bridge with him. Okay. Yeah, he does land on the ladder. Okay, we don't have a moment to spare. All the other lemmings need to get across now. All right, everybody. If you want to have a Merry Christmas, move your jolly green butts all the way to the exit. Okay, that's where the next lemming went. Objective run. Unfortunately, there isn't a run button. Okay. He still had a parachute, so the thing that has yet to be determined is whether or not they're going to uh, survive falling from that height. Alright. Little marching menaces. Get the... Yeah, the rest of the way to the stage. One minute to go. Okay. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, nobody's going to uh, fall haphazardly, so... Hopefully, enough of them are going to get in the fruitcake before time runs out, and then I will have already won the level. We know absolutely everyone else is going to be safe. Okay, no, I actually think we're going to make it to the end of this now. Okay, 94%. What a fine display of living control. Take a bow, then carry on with the game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. A level 2, a Christmas bonus. 
50 lemmings, 50% need to be saved. The release, uh, release rate is 40, okay. Okay, probably the first thing I'm going to need to do is start blocking again. Big cliff up that way. Okay, I don't think... Oh, you know what? I'm actually supposed to be taking them left. I did not realize that. Um, so let's see. What can we do here? Okay. Time to send Team Lemming over to the left again. Wait, does reaching the little scarecrow things do something? No, it doesn't. They're just background decoration. Um, give them parachutes. There we go. Well, now you made me do it. Now you made me um, turn him into a blocker. Um, let's see. Okay, let's get you building. Oh, don't do this to me, man. No, nah, well, all right. Well, you're a gunner. Where's the basher? Okay, well, I'm gonna have to wait for him to come back around for that. Ooh, I should have put this guy closer to the underside of the cliff because then I could have released the rest of them. All right. This is the maniacal part of that over there, is that everything over here is a disgusting looking obstacle. <laughs> to need to start building here. Uh, how many more bridges do I have? I have 17 bridges. I have more than enough bridges. All right. Oh, darn it. Well, I'll wait for them to come around again. Now let's see, what can we do about this mess right here? Okay, you go slow. Let's ups get out a few more lemmings and then have them do this section here. Okay. I need somebody to pickaxe down this section. Let's blow you up. Okay. Please reach the ground. Nope. No such luck. Okay, well, we're starting over.
48 seconds, roughly about there, remaining. Make a much more efficient team lemming here. They can safely fall from that height. Okay, so let's block you guys for now. Oops. I think somebody already fell off. Oh, he's already turning around. Darn it. Well, I've got a basic idea of what I'm supposed to be doing here. Preemptively put the last guy in the row as a safety lookout. Grab the pickaxe. supposed to block crazy lemming all right uh, bash Don't you give up there. Okay. Ah, don't turn around too. Oh, I knew you were gonna do that. Uh, has this guy bit the dust too? Drat. I should really be paying more attention to what simultaneous lemmings are doing. Alright, let's send out the brood. Couldn't get any worse. Come. Oh 
Okay, one of you bash across. Okay, good. comes the rest of them. I'd rather them be stuck closer to the goal than as far away as they were before. Alright. Okay. Bash across there. Then somebody will need to create a ladder. This loop is infectiously catchy. Yeah, they had a really, really good sound designer. So the story goes is that, you know, they, they actually ended up making a lot of music based on copyrighted tunes. But then they realized, you know, they might get sued for that. So they eventually just made several songs based on public domain songs. And so that is effectively what uh, created the world famous uh, soundtrack for Lemmings. Okay. So I believe, yeah, everyone from here to here is going to walk out. Is there anyone I'm leaving behind? Yeah, I'm just leaving that one blocker behind. Pop. And then I need to pop you. As I was hoping he didn't create a ditch so big that the lemmings couldn't climb out of it. That happens sometimes. Oh, only three seconds left. Well, technically I solved the puzzle. Unfortunately, I ran out of time. I rescued 2%. Oh, well, maybe that's not the way to do the level. Of course it's the way to do the level. You just give me two short time limits. All right, well. We're exiting again. So, we're going to go on to... Uh, the first installment of Holiday Lemmings. That was Holiday Lemmings in 1993. All right. So once again, here we are at the sh oh, talk about deviously difficult. Yes, truly. Games were built to last in those days, just almost purely because of challenge level. Okay. See. Okay. So. Slash lemmings and then CD lemming C CD lemmings I mean CD nineteen ninety three and then lemmings there we are VGA high performance PC the Dream Team presents on 18 November AD 1993 Holiday Lemmings from Psygnosis, supplied by Mr. 77, packaged by Hosen. Contact the Dream Team 77 Fan Club, Sweden. All right. Welcome to the special 1993 Holiday Edition of Lemmings. We hope you enjoy your visit to Lemmingland. Best wishes from all of us here at Psygnosis and DMA Design. They're not beating around the bush this year. All right. Okay, level one, climbing to the top. 10 lemmings, 100% uh, need to be saved. So immediately start by building. 
The one thing I probably have to worry about is I have to worry about whether or not lemmings are going to start climbing this ladder, and if they do, if they're going to start falling to the desk. Uh-oh. You know what DNA went on to become? Yes, DMA went on to become uh, Rockstar North. And this completely and totally glitched and died on my computer. Okay. You got the creepy pasta edition, yeah, more than likely. All right. Okay. Well, if this one doesn't work, then we'll just try our damnedest to play the rest of uh, Lemmings 94 after this one. Um, Okay. Also, to do a safety, I'll just do PC compatible this time. I don't think it's going to look any different. Oh, I've got some going in the concentric circle, but that's all right. I know that the taller that I build a bridge, you know, the more likely it's going to be that they are going to just fall into one of the two crevasses. That's good. Uh oh. Here's trouble. How do I keep him from digging through the whole stage? Probably don't. Well, this is a problem. Okay, I was supposed to save 100%, so this isn't gonna work. And the house collapses into a pit. Okay, this was a game that had realistic physics in it. So, you know, just to further that story a little bit, is that slightly after, um, DMA Design became Rockstar North. Um, they, uh, the Lemmings license was bought by Sony. And I think Sony had big plans for it at one point, but they just didn't pay any attention to it. They eventually ended up making a mobile game. And to this day, it's probably the only Sony Entertainment licensed mobile game that currently exists. Okay, you know what? I need to start doing this way sooner. And so the mobile game by itself has been updated throughout multiple years, and I believe that there are up to 4,000 individual levels, which makes it the largest Lemmings game to exist. Yeah, how, t how soon can I begin? to build this ladder because I think that's what the defining factor is going to be. Well, 
sadly, you know, I am going to have to obey the law of the peak here. Oh, well, something else I can do is I can get lemmings to start building on the ladder sooner. That might be my saving grace in all of this. Okay, so I think I'm slightly above the icicle, so this isn't out of the question just yet. There we go. Lucky break. Quite literally a lucky break. Now, the issue I have with these two is that I cannot explode them or else I'm going to lose. So I'm going to dig next to them. Okay, stop digging. Seriously, stop digging. Eventually you have to stop digging. Uh, you are facing the wrong way. For cry crying out loud! Uh... Still digging. Okay, well, that was a bust of an idea. Okay, starting over. Maybe you'd better rethink your strategy a bit. My strategy is fine, you need to move your game. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe I don't need to use the blockers, etc. Maybe I just need to get the first lemming to the top. Oh, nope. Eventually they do start falling to their death. So there goes that theory. Okay. Um, no, that's not a good idea. Um, Hang on, do I have climbers? Oh, okay, this is ridiculously simple. Now that I've come now now I've got the solution to this. Ah, uh, it was right in front of my face the whole time. Okay. So what total number of lemmings is ten. Total number of lemmings is ten, but I have twenty climbers, so I can just make them all climb up the icicle. Okay, yeah, everybody gets climbing abilities for Christmas.
silly game programmers from 1993 making me my noodle work harder than it's supposed to. It's ridiculously simple. Of course, of course, of course. All right. Level two. Floating Lemming Flurry. 20 lemmings, 75 need to be saved. Okay. Don't tell me it's the same thing. Everybody gets a parachute. Because <laughs> they did say 20, didn't they? I have more than 30 shoots. Only 75 of them need to be saved. <laughs> I think maybe that was the gag of this year's uh, uh, Lemmings Freeware, is that we came up with ridiculously simple answers to all of these puzzles. In 50%. Eight shoots left to go. 65, 70, 75, there. Done and done. I'm being picked on. After the first couple of them being, you know, ridiculously hard. Okay, holiday panic. Okay, this is another short one. Let me see. More than certain, I just need to bash through these two obstacles. Well, let's be fancy. Let's pick X for the second one. Oh, except in, oh, I did it in the wrong direction. Ah, ah, ah. Nobody's done more damage to this tribe than I have. Christmas blunder. All right, well. We're not going to be fancy this time. We're just going to bash to it. Uh, um, I did see a little bit of a strange screen flicker there, but no harm done. What's the purpose of making 1993's game so easy? Still, it's progress. They hadn't yet mastered it, I suppose. Well, that's the thing. This is the third one that they released. I mean, I guess maybe they just wanted to make one of these accessible. They didn't want to give out demos to people who presumably already beat the game and were looking for just a few bonus levels. Level four, lemming tracks in the snow. 50 lemmings. Out of 15 lemmings, 90% need to be saved, okay. See, yeah, this one is, you know, how how itty bitty have these levels been? Okay, so they're not limiting me in terms of uh, items either. Is that all of the uh, lemming jobs are filled up to twenty? Yeah, and that's pretty much it. They wanted you to have a happy Christmas for once, and then they, so they gave you the ability in order to save the lemmings. Yep. 
Yep, that's all there is to it. These are all of the uh, stage ones that were missing from the first two uh, Holiday Lemmy's games. Okay, so level five, Christmas south of the equator. 75 lemmings, 33 need to be saved. All right. So it looks like we're gonna need a picker for this. This is what makes it south of the border. For once, we have to uh, dig through the rock instead of the snow. Oops. Oh, no, you don't. how it's done. Okay, level six. Lemming Snowball. No, Lemming Snowfall. 80 lemmings. 50% need to be saved. Oh, all right. So the real obstacle here is that this section here can't be dug through, so... to build this bridge in a way so that people will be able to get to the top of it. So that doesn't look uh, like anybody can fall from it. Is 
just cut that section in the middle. Got plenty of time too. You know, something that, that um, I like is I, I like the animation when they're falling. I'm going to get about to see a whole lot of it. Level seven, lemming, new, I can't even remember this, lemming snowjourn, that's what it is. 50 lemmings, 50% need to be saved, all right. See, how are you gonna sp uh, spice it up this time? Let me start by hitting the pause button. Wow, I wonder if they added enough spikes to this. Okay, well, first thing I would ask is, um, how are they going to uh, manage to get across, uh, across this one? Well, they're not doing very good so far. I have like 20 bashers. 20 bashers is going to be enough to get all the way across the snow focus. How do these guys survive in a world that absolutely hates them? I don't know, but for sure, I think I'm taking the wrong path. Um, no clear way to do this. Well, if I keep doing this, then I'm probably not going to be able to extricate the ones that have already fallen. Let's see here. Well, it's gonna have to be those two. Oh, they go off the other edge if I try to block them. Sheesh. Ooh, the blocker doesn't stop them if they're on the very top of the peak. Those are two things I learned. Okay, I'm gonna give this one more try. We got 15 minutes left in the stream, and I do want to get to Lemmy's 94. Wow. The Lemmy's on the other side of the cliff don't stop for anything.
See, here I thought they were softballing me, but apparently not. Okay, I think I finally got them blocked. Oh no, I don't. Crud. Somebody thought really, really hard on the physics for this one. They don't give you the password on the game over screen. That's the hard part about this. All right, well... We're going to 1994. Um, I wonder if there's a Christmas edition of Worms. Um, I've seen some like Christmas, um, like Worms add-ons, like uh, voices and Santa hats that you can put on the characters. I don't think they've ever made a uh, Christmas explicitly Christmas themed version of Worms, but. Just be music and costumes, yeah. Um, all right. Welcome to the special 1994 holiday edition of Lemmings. We hope you enjoy your visit to Lemmingland. Please note that the first two categories of the game, Frost and Hail, are 32 brand new levels, while the latter two categories. Flurry and Blitz are the bonus levels from 1993. So this game is partially built on the levels that we previously saw on 1993. Special. Whoops. I accidentally hit escape. Let's get back into the game. All right. Okay, change the command. Number of lemmings are 50, 100% need to be saved, the release rate is 25, okay. Seems simple enough. Yay, the blank stream map pack. I mean, the interesting thing about Lemmings is that, you know, it is one of those games that actually does make you work a bit harder if you're the one who messes up. I'm probably not going to need to use any of the other tools on this round, but if, you know, suppose I tunneled into one of the middle of those big snow donuts, well, then I definitely would need to. No nuts. All right. So it doesn't look like anybody is wedged anyway. Okay. Yeah, we're one hundred percenting this one. I thought I would be cut short by like an extremely small clock or something like that.
bit of a stretch there. Yeah, they give you all these items for a reason. See, there's the last straggler right there. Before there were Pikmin. Okay, level two, ski jump. 50 lemmings, 98 need to be saved, okay. Oh, you know what? And I have 50 parachutes, so guess how we're going to solve this one. All right. Have fun, kids. By building stairs? Yeah, probably. I should have thought of that. Ah, well, I'm stuck with this solution now. There we are. 100% accounted for. Um, episode 3, Cindy Land. Number of Lummies, 80. 93% need to be saved. Okay. I'm already suspicious. Okay, those are all the climbers I can have. Um, probably should have been parachuters too. Alright, starting over. And I, this is when only this, only now do I realize that this is when the other ones are falling off the other side of the cliff. I actually need to turn our brain on for this one. Okay, this is clearly not the solution. He's gonna keep digging until he hits the other side and then that's gonna be the end of it.
Uh, let's keep everybody up here now. I needed to make him a climber, but then I turned around. So maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe that's not a good idea. to mess up just so uh, so immediately all right Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna send out a scouter lemming. One that has both climb, and then I'm going to follow that up with uh, giving him a parachute. So now he should be able to bash out if he... Oh, actually, he's going to turn around, too. Well, you know, I can do this to a bunch of lemmings if I wanted to. One, two, three, four, five. But then I lose track about the ones that are the climbers. So maybe that wasn't a good idea in retrospect. Yeah, wait for the climber to come back. Alright. This... The silly music really makes the avoidable death that much less tragic. That is true. Okay. And get over here. And you can dig over the top half of this. Okay, now we need stairs. Stairs that go up to here. I'm gonna try to do something a little bit controversial here. I'm gonna make a blocker, but then I'm going to immediately blow it up to get through this icicle. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, plan B. This time, just dig them out. Easy enough to do. Well, except this guy is still digging. Uh, I will see. All right. See, how do I get him out of this chasm? That's that's the question I gotta ask myself. Okay, let's do this. But let's. Um, this time, let's not be as messy. All right. Well, 
that's that. And now we need you to be Mr. Climber, and we need you to be Mr. Parachuter. It would have been useful if this one was closer to the edge of the cliff. Okay, well. one of them to turn over and then make him the other blocker. Okay. I lost one while doing that. Now, is there any way to get the rest of the brood out of here before, um... Without bashing all the way across the icicle? Okay, first thing I should do, make a climber. There we go. Okay, then we're going to need somebody at the top of this to be a basher. It's a little hard because they've all melded together at this point. There we are. Yeah, probably not. Alright, there we go. That was 92. I needed 93. So, I have been foiled by the 1%. Oh, gee whiz. Yeah, I just really, you know, ended up wasting too many lemmings by uh, uh, letting them fall off the cliffs and blowing them up and turning them into multiple blockers. Certainly was a way to do it. But anyways. Um... I think now is probably the time that I should sign off for the night. Thank you for joining me on this very special holiday edition of Brittany the RPG Cat. Once again, our uh, sponsors are GreatMia.Games, um, uh, we're partnering with GreatMia.Games to bring you inexpensive TCG single cards. Visit GreatMia.Games and use the code TENFINDY at checkout for 10% off your online purchase. This stream is also brought to you by our donation campaign. Uh, supporting... Oh, I wrote donation. Um, supporting ex, uh, the Children's Hospital Colorado through Extra Life. Please consider clicking on our link. We're going to keep the links on until December 31st. So, thank you everybody once again for tuning in. Tomorrow night, we are going to be airing the uh, One Shots Karaoke Special. And that is going to be our last cap off for the holiday season. We're going to spend, you know, Christmas and New Year with our family. And we very much expect those of you to do it as well. 
And so we're more than likely going to be back on the 27th with another installment of Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos with uh, Great Mia Games and Rocky Mountain Pro. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do our raid tonight. This is our holiday raid. So let's see who's going to be on tonight. Um, I think... I'd like to play a visit to you. Let's see. Um, mm, be, um, um, we're gonna go over to. Um, we're gonna go over to Ferret Magic. Ferret Magic was in the chat yesterday. We did show a little bit of a clip from their channel. Um, let's give them a shout out. Currently playing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Of course, this isn't Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. spaghetti. Anyways, we're going to go over to Ferret Magic. Thank you everybody once again for tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow with a One Shots Karaoke special. Thank you, thank you for the, for staying tuned in and everybody have a wonderful holiday. And thank you very much for watching. <laughs>